how to build a highly converting landing page with System.io. Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. Building a highly convertible landing page is crucial for any online business. With System.io, you can easily create a landing page that not only looks great, but also converts visitors into customers. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to build a highly converting landing page with System.io. We'll cover everything from choosing the right template, to customizing your page, to adding opt-in forms and call to actions. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a landing page that will help you generate more leads and sales for your business. So let's dive right in and get started with System.io. Now the first thing you're going to do, of course, is go to System.io and sign in or sign up into your account. Now upon opening System.io, the first thing you're going to do is the dashboard. As you can see here on the top, we have a lot of options to go to. We have dashboard, contacts, funnels, emails, blogs, automations, products, and sales. Now what we're going to click on is the funnels over here. Under the funnel, this is where we will be able to create our landing page. Now as you can see, our list is currently empty. So what we're simply going to do is click on create over here on the top right. And this will show us this pop-up. Now we're simply going to name our funnel. We're going to name it test funnel, just like that. You could change your funnel domain name over here. And over here, we will choose our funnel goal. We could either build an audience, sell a product or a service, or run an evergreen webinar. We could also create a custom funnel from scratch by clicking on this custom option over here. But for now, we're going to go with building an audience by clicking this option over here. Then over here, you're going to choose what kind of currency do we have. We could click on this option over here and you would be able to see all the different options that you have. We have Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, Danish krone, Euro, Hong Kong dollar, and many more. We're simply going to choose, for example, Philippine peso and then click on save. And as you can see, we have created our funnel over here. We're simply going to click the three dots over here on the right and then click on view. And as you can see, this is where we will find our funnel once we have created it. So we're going to go back to our page over here and click on our funnel over here. And by clicking this, we would be able to edit this specific funnel. As you can see here, we have a squeeze page and a thank you page. Squeeze page is basically the landing page and after people are done with your landing page, they would be redirected to the thank you page over here. You could add more steps if you like also by clicking on add step over here. Now as you can see here on the center, we are seeing a lot of templates that we could use for our landing page. You can simply choose any of this option because you would be able to edit every single part of this templates that you are going to select. Now for our landing page, I suggest that you choose a very simple template. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a simple template that we could use. For example, this one over here. Now make sure that when you're choosing a template is you press on preview so that you would be able to see what it would look like on a desktop form or maybe a mobile if you're using a mobile gadget right now. As you can see, it is a very simple page over here. We have our field for our name, our email, and then our button over here. So we're going to choose this template over here. So we're going to go back to system.io and then click on select. Now this will redirect us back to our final page over here. And as you can see, we have our name over here. We're simply going to change the name of this page to test funnel once again. And we could also change our URL path over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the magic wand over here. This is the edit page button over here. So we're going to click this and this will redirect us to the editing page of system.io. As you can see right now, we have our template over here and we would be able to change every element that we have over here. Now to change our text, we simply click on this specific block and we would be able to edit the different settings of this. For example, over here, we have font size. We could increase the font size of our text just like that. We could decrease it. We could increase the line height by doing this. We could increase it or decrease it. You could also change the font type over here. You could choose from web font 
and Google font. You could also add custom fonts by clicking on this option over here. You could also, you could also, you also have more fonts over here. Actually, we have Oswald, Roboto, Opensans, Montserrat, and many more. Letter spacing, color, margin, padding, and many more. Now, what you're simply going to do is you're going to edit the text into the purpose of your landing page. For example, we're going to share a file or maybe a digital art that we would like people to give. For example, we have digital art for free, just like that. And we could click on this button over here. And just like we did earlier, we would be able to edit our button information. As you can see here on the left side, this is the different button settings. Now you could also edit the action that would happen when someone clicks on our button. Over here, we can see that it says action when button is click. We could choose from send form, show pop-up, open URL, next step URL, or download file. Now usually we would go with download file and then upload the digital art that we are trying to give. But what we're going to do for now is we're going to open next step URL over here and we're going to continue later on. Now we're simply going to edit our text over here. We're going to look for our typography. And as you can see here, we have send me the training video training. We're going to change this to download digital art, just like that. We could also change the fonts like earlier. We could change the color. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the background color. By clicking this, we would be able to choose from a different color, just like this. We could change it to blue or darker blue, just like that. We could also click on our text color over here. We would be able to change the color of our text also. We're going to maybe change it to black, just like that. Now, after editing this, we could also click on this forms over here, the your name. We could change this by, by double clicking this. to. We would be able to edit. The settings also, as you can see here, we have first name as the input type. We could change it to city, company name, country, email, first name, phone number, and all of these options over here. We could also change the placeholder, meaning the in the text that is appearing over here. We could also change the placeholder color to another color, like maybe blue, just like that. We could also increase the font size by doing this and the line height over here. You could do the same with your email. By double clicking this, you would be able to edit it just like what I did earlier. Now, what we're going to do next is we're simply going to save changes for now. And we're going to click on exit. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our thank you page over here. And over here, this is where we will be able to choose another template, but for a thank you page this time. So we're simply going to choose another one that we like. A very simple thank you page if possible for example this one we're going to click on select and like we did earlier we're going to click on the edit button over here and over here we will be able to edit our page once again so we're simply going to delete parts of our page that we don't like we're simply going to click on delete over here delete this parts that we aren't going to use just like that. And now we're going to edit the text by clicking this. Thank you. Just like that. And then we're going to remove this once again. And we're going to add a message over here. You can add any message that you want. Any more information. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look for a button. Over here under forms, we're going to drag this into our page. And we're going to click on this. And we're going to edit. We're going to change the action over here to download file and then we could upload our file over here you could either drag or drop your files over here or you can click on select file and we would be able to select our digital art from our uploads and just like this i'm going to upload the file and as you can see we have our digital art over here so we're simply going to click on insert and as you can see we can change our text also to under typography over here click on download just like that we're going to remove our subtext just like this. You could edit this just like we did earlier. You could do whatever you want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save changes and then go back to our page earlier. 
And that's it. What we're going to do next is we're going to test this out. We're going to copy our link and we're going to open our website over here. And as you can see, we have our name over here and then our email and then click on digital art. And this will redirect us to our thank you page over here. And we're simply going to click on download and this will automatically send us to our digital art over here for us to download. And now the next thing you're simply going to do is you're going to send your URL to people so that you would be able to get their name or email and then create more leads for your business. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.